Hello, this is Around the House with Tan Tom, and I'm Tom, and today we're going to make some uh, potato wedges. So I got these two, they're pretty good sized potatoes here. The first thing I want to do is take this little scrub brush here, put them over here in the sink a little bit, and scrub them off, and then we'll put them on this cutting board. So after I get them washed off, we'll be back. Okay, I've got these washed off real good, and I found a couple little spots on them that was sort of undesirable, so I cut those out. <clears throat> now the next thing we'll do is try to split them as much in half as I can. Just like that. And then after I do, we'll roll it right over like that. And we'll try to split them again. Like that. Now we'll try to cut them one more time. Like that. Now this is a big potato here, folks. Okay. Okay, now. Right down the middle with it. Just like that. Down the middle with it again. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is get a large mixing bowl here. Put these potato wedges down in it. I looked at them again and got all some more little spots on them. I don't like those dark spots on the inside of them and stuff. I just cut them out best I can. here just a tad bit. Alright, now really you can season these with about anything you want to. And I really like this dash, so I'm going to use some dash on them among other things. But uh, we'll start out with some salt and pepper. Okay, now I'm going to put some uh, olive oil in here. I put two, 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 two teaspoons of olive oil in here. Get it out in a minute, what I did. Okay, and I'm going to sort of shake them up a little bit like this. Get some oil on all of them. Now, got that done. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, Mrs. Dash here, this garlic and herbs, and then we'll sprinkle in there. Now I've got some of this uh, Italian seasoning we'll put on it. And like I say, you can use about what you like, you know. But uh, this is a good blend right here. So now I'm going to shake them up again. If I get some out on all of them. I see another bad spot on the potato right there. I got to cut that out. I can't leave that. See that spot right there? It's got to go. Now. That looks much better. Now set the Ninja Foodie crisper basket over here. Now we're going to take these potatoes. We'll dump right in it. Well, that's a lot of taters. So now we're going to see how this thing will do with that many potatoes in it. So the next thing we're going to do is Put it in the uh, Ninja Foodie over here. But just like this. Alright, now. Start 
it'll look better. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is shut the lid. We'll come down here and turn on the power. And we'll hit the uh, air crisp button. I started to say we'll hit the bake roast button, but we'll uh, hit the air crisp button and we'll go hit 400 degrees. And we'll go do it for 20 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and start button. And there it goes. And while I've got a sec, if y'all can, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much to all you people uh, watching our videos and has joined our channel before. It sure does mean a lot to us. And if you see anything I'm using in one of my videos and you think you might want one, chances are it's in the link down below. So that's all the commercials I got. So hey, <laughs> now we'll be back in a few minutes to see how this cooking is going. Okay, now this has been going for about 11 minutes, so I'm going to open the lid and see what it looks like. And it's starting to brown here and there. So, what I'm going to do is, I don't want to take my tongs and, and start stirring these up because, to tell you the truth, they are pretty tender once they start cooking. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick up the basket with my mitts here, and I'm going to shake it. And we'll bounce them around just like I was shaking them a while ago. Now there's two ways to do this. You can do it over the sink or over this pot, but you don't want to do it over your floor because you're going to get stuff all over your floor. So I'm going to take it over here to the sink real quick. And bounce them around some, and maybe the, some of the ones on the bottom come to the top, and some of the ones on the top went to the bottom. That pot's hot. If you don't believe it, touch it with the hand and you won't, you'll pull it away. <laughs> but anyway, now we're back in there and I want to start back up. Let them go. Now, as you can see, they've still got about eight minutes to go, so I'm just going to leave them alone. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to add a couple minutes to this, maybe, maybe five or eight minutes, but I'll see you in a minute. So, we'll be back when this time is about up. We're down to about five seconds now. We'll take a look at them, but I think, like I said, we'll probably have to add a little more time to them. But we'll see here in a minute. And there it is. I'm cool and done. And let me get over here so you can see when I open this lid. Oh boy, they're starting to look pretty, ain't they? See that? It goes in pretty good, but that, that's a little bit tough. I think we'll take them back over the sink and shake them around again and put them back in there for another five minutes. Just to be sure. back on again because then when this thing stops like that you have to let it recycle and you have to shut the lid again and you hit the power button and then you hit the uh, air quest button again you just have to do it all over again and there's 400 degrees and you bring your time down this thing like I said and we'll hit it for five minutes because they're pretty good or pretty close I mean you know, let it go for that five minutes the thing I like about this Ninja Foodie, believe it or not, now, the ones that I started up, I should have showed you before I shut the lid, but it's too late now. But anyway, when you, when you shake them around, most of them that's on the bottom, they're starting to brown just like the ones on top. The way the, the, way the basket is made, the way it circulates, it just puts the hot air up there to them, and they go ahead and start uh, browning. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute and take another look. Okay, now it's down to 10 seconds. And we'll fix it, open this door and see what we got. And I hope it's good. Cool 
So it's done. Now you get over here where we look down in there when I open this lid. Now that looks pretty good right there, doesn't it? Looks good enough to eat. Now the next trick is see if I can get them out and over here on this plate. Alright, here we go. One trying to hide out. All right, and there you see them. Now, let me see if I can get something to cut into one of these with. They look good, don't they? Oh, look at that. That plastic fork just goes right through there. <laughs> oh, can you tell it a little crisp on the outside? Like these here. Look at that. And just about every one of them. I don't see a one of them that's not starting to get brown. This is about the whitest one there is right here. Look at that. That looks good. I don't know if it's going to be hot. Mm-hmm. Now these are delicious right here. Now, like I said, you don't have to put exactly the same thing on mine on yours that I did mine, but I don't think that there'll be any better than this. Now, I think the big boss in there a while ago said they need a little more salt on it, so I'll pro probably have to put some more salt on them. But outside that, these are delicious. Mmm, mmm. Okay, now I just want to show you something right here now. I don't know how well you can see this one right here. Let me move it in a little bit closer. This right here. But now this is one that was on the bottom and it was face down on the uh, rack and you can see like the grill marks in it. And that's what, uh, that's what I mean. It grill, it burn, uh, burns. It don't burn. It will if you leave it in there long enough. But it browns just about as good on the, uh, on the bottom like as it does the top. <clears throat> so anyway, that's my little short video for today on this potato wedges, and I hope you'll try them sometime because they sure are good, let me tell you. So, uh, we're just talking, if we keep eating these things, we won't have any supper. But anyway, that's the way you do them, that's the way you do them in this Ninja Foodie, and I hope you try them sometime. And I hope you come back and see me real soon and watch more of my videos, and thanks again for watching today. And so, goodbye now.